Bardos uh, in Tibetan means like in between or in transition. And from that point of view, we are always in transition. We are always, you know. It's not that we are kind of uh, static any time. Uh, so the life itself is a part of so this. The first part of is part of life, you know. From the time we are born till we start to die is called the part of living. Then the, the actual process of dying is called part of dying, you know because that's also a transition. After that, then there is supposed to be a moment where your consciousness dissolves into the, the most subtlest state of your awareness. Uh, and that's called part of clear light or, you know, whistle. Each of these moments are very important because each of these pardos is seen as an opportunity. Uh, each pardo is not seen as something, something kind of a, uh, end in it or something bad, but each pardo is an opportunity, like pardo of living. We can change, we can transform ourselves, we can completely enlighten ourselves in this life. So therefore, it's full of opportunities you know, part of living. And not only part of living is full of opportunities, but part of dying is also opportunity. So, you know, when we are dying, in that process of dying, if we can see things, if we can understand, if we can connect with something, if we can use that opportunity uh, in, a, in a good way, we can also, you know, uh, completely transform and you know, be born in a very good life and things like that. So part of dying is also opportunities. And then part of, uh, you know, uh, clear light or part of um, clarity is also very great opportunity because that's when your mind is, you know, in the most subtlest state and your true kind of, you can call it, if you like, the Buddha nature uh, is, is present there. So it's, uh, when your mind is free from all the thoughts and emotions. So if we can recognize that at that time, then we can be also enlightened at that time. So it's a very important part, but it's not so easy, but you know. And then part of becoming is when, you know, after we die, then before we take the next birth. So that, that period, uh, is also a very important part because, you know, we have no material body at that time. So therefore, we can go wherever we want, you know. So it is said that at that time, if we can think about a paradise or, you know, a Buddha realm or, uh, or, a, or a great enlightened being, we just there. So therefore, you know, how our mind is concentrated or focused uh, becomes extremely important that time. So therefore, you know, there's uh, very lots of opportunities and lots of, you know. So, so this, the pardos are about that, you know. I think the, the, the four pardos uh, teach us that, you know, there's always opportunities for us. There's always positive possibilities for us. And I think we should also bring that in our life and not get frustrated. 